Karen's my RNC. She's been with me for over a year now. Um, came into a really difficult situation. We hadn't had an RN for a long time. And she came in and took over and really just started fixing things on her own. Um, her first priority was to get to know the residents and she did that quickly, um, compassionately, and um, hasn't uh, stopped running since. She's just been great. I knew Karen before Steve moved in here. Uh, I work for doctors and um, Karen had worked at our, our facility at one time and I didn't know that before Steve moved in here that Karen was the head nurse and uh, when I found out that it was just a wonderful, wonderful day for me and um, I went back to work and I was telling everyone and, and they all agreed that, you know, there probably wasn't a better person for, for this type of job because they all knew what a caring person Karen is. She's yeah. just a natural born nurse, you know. Um, I say she's she's just one of the kindest, kindest people that I know. And um, it's not something that you can pretend or you know, it, it, either it's there or it's not. And she really she just is a really truly caring person. Yeah, she and my mother are buddies. You know, they do Eskimo kisses, and you know, they're always you know, very close. And I, and I have a, uh, my, I know my mother feels, and I feel, when, you know, they, that my mother is like the most special person in the world for, for Karen. Now, I know that that's not true, because I see the way she interacts with other residents, too, and I know that everyone probably feels like Karen feels that they are the most special person in the world, <laughs> and that's just the way she is. I have a resident that lives with us that is, has been with us a long time and is now in, uh, in stages dementia, and she spends a lot of her day in my office with me. And every time Karen walks in, Margaret gets a huge smile on her face. Um, when, when Margaret was more physically active, she was able to walk around this place quick as ever. We'd come in my office, do calisthenics, and Karen would be right there with her doing arm lifts and leg kicks, and and then all three of us would just, just get to tears laughing. And we just had wonderful times. And that's probably, when I think about Karen, a really great memory that I have with her. Well, Karen is very thoughtful of everybody. And uh, was one of my dear friends had it not been for Karen, she would not be here. So uh, we are, I just love it when she's around. She is able, uh, she's here when we want her. She's fun. She's, you know, comes in with a smile. She's always one of the first people you try to say hi to. Um, and just the fact that she's here, you can go to her with any problem and she'll help you out with anything that you need. She's trustworthy and her compassion, her compassion towards the residents and especially their family members. Um, she'll do anything for you, even if she's got a pile of work in front of her, as you sometimes can see when you walk in the door. She will, you know, she'll get on the phone and start making phone calls for somebody or she will, she'll just keep working on it until it's done, even if it means, you know, after hours. I've seen her very late into the night working on stuff for families. I think she gets you know, pleasure out of doing that too, knowing that she did something that made somebody else happy. I feel Karen should be RN of the Year because she exemplifies everything that the RN of the Year should be. She has you know, done everything from the business side of it as far as getting every chart in order, getting the QA score up, um, you know, working with the divisionals well, working with the staff, but that's just small part of it. The other part that makes her RN of the year is she's funny and she's kind and she goes out of her way to help others and truly loves the residents and that's what makes her the, just a great RN.